Okay, thanks guys for coming on. I'm Kay, for those who don't know me, I'm the co-founder and owner of a financial coaching company, Sensei. And today I have with me Larry and Maggie. And Maggie works at a wholesale nursery and Larry is a mini mix concrete driver operator. They live in Portland, Oregon and make a combined income of 162,000. They have been in the program for three months. So Maggie, take me back to what life was like pre- Sensei, you start us off. (laughs) Uh, We really, we talked about money, but it was a point of contention between us. We felt that one person was spending in ways that one I didn't like or vice versa. And we had a really hard time having conversation about it at all. So that was, it, it, it wasn't pleasant. You know, we're in a good relationship and we love each other a lot, but it's hard when you can't talk about one of the foundations of your life. (laughs) Yes. That bleeds into everything else. Exactly. Yeah. So we skirted around it a lot and I would build a spreadsheet and I would be so proud of it. And then we would work on it. And then it wasn't actually happening on paper in the way that we expected it to, or rather it wasn't happening in real life the way that it did on paper. Mm Mm-hmm. And it was, it was frustrating because you spent time talking about it, figuring it out, writing it down. And then it just became this overwhelming ball of Excel spreadsheet uh, that wasn't all that pleasant to manage. Yes, totally. What would you add, Larry? Easy to ignore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it was so difficult and overwhelming. It, start. okay yeah and yeah. and yeah we're gonna we're gonna stay on it we you start out best intentions and life happens and yeah i feel like we we again best intentions and then we the ease of just yeah I'm going to, I'm going to spend the way I want to spend. She's going to spend the way she wants to spend. And then it just figure it out. We hit a wall (laughs) and then we go back to, and we try to fix and spreadsheet. Yes. So you're kind of just going through this cycle of spreadsheet, throw it under the bus because it's not working anymore. We'll try again. This time it'll be different than repeat. Is that yeah. 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 The other thing too, is that you would build the spreadsheet, but it became so complicated. There wasn't an easy way to track every day and it, it became like a big, a bit of a beast rather. So it just became, yeah. Yeah. it became unmanageable in a really, and we all have busy lives. Right. So, yeah. And I yeah. wouldn't, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't understand the spreadsheet so much as she does my brain doesn't work that way looking at an excel spreadsheet Mm -hmm. yeah okay yes honey (laughs) whatever you say (laughs) looks great (laughs) yes and then like you said getting the real life things to match the spreadsheet was like yeah it looks great on paper but somehow wasn't lining up yeah Yeah. exactly yep okay great so what changed what was the difference now that you're managing money after you've been in the program only three months but that system is complete what does that look like for you now you want to take that one it's (laughs) it's the program the the what you guys have set up it's simplified everything it's Mm -hmm. still all there but it's 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 made it it, for, for a non-financial type person like me, it's, it's made it more, it's Mm user-friendly. I don't have to worry about it. We Mm -hmm. have ABC and I I don't think about money. I I honestly, since we've started this three months ago, we have these things set in place. And I, I, before I was always, app wells fargo what's my bank account what's coming out you know and i I, i'd look at what i had and i'd look i didn't know what she had Mm -hmm. the the income but it's just uh, yeah 
I don't think you've said that to me that you didn't, you don't think about money. That's pretty. I don't. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, cool. I, tell you. I mean, yeah. not yeah, it, that it, that's that pressure is off. I really don't. It's yeah. just it's there. I, I, I think about what my, in the structure and in, in what you guys have created, I think about what the only thing money wise is what Larry his, if you will. <laughs> or his and her funds. Uh, yeah, his yep. and her funds. And that's yep. and that's not that hard to think. That's one thing. Yeah. For <laughs> focus right. on that. And now that other things are automated. Other yeah. things and now. And that's the fun part too, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Depends <laughs> on the day, right? Yeah, I spend a little too much. Yeah. Well, Stan says sometimes he spends his entire his fun on ice cream. Not sure if that's true, yes. but <laughs> yes, it definitely can be. Yeah. It's, it's that freedom, right, of getting yes. to what, how you want those funds to be. Mm-hmm. Yes, I love that you said that, Larry, because I think that is like kind of counterintuitive. Sometimes it think you think, oh, I'm signing up for this coaching program. I'm meeting with my coach all the time. I'm going to be obsessed with money. And like, this is all I'm going to be thinking about. I'm going to be stressed out of my mind and you know, all that. And there is more time commitment potentially at upfront, right. Of doing those things. But the feeling that you have is so much more freeing. Like it's almost better to batch all of that in that one time frame than stressing all the time, every moment, looking at the app and figuring out what to do. And you're at the grocery store and should I buy this or what should I do? And ah, and I think that sometimes we forget that we're like, don't want to do the batching time and just do the time, get this automated, get it set up. And so then we spend way more time long-term spinning our wheels on each of those individual things. So yeah, yeah. I love that. I was going to share, that's one of my, not key takeaways, but that's one thing that I would want to know moving. Yes. Like, if I had started the program, to, if I started the program tomorrow, I would want to know that it is a commitment up front. It is a, it's a solid couple of weeks of really making sure that all your ducks in a row, setting up the tracking system, but it's better to get it done and to push a little bit because as soon as it's built, it runs on its own. Yes. And that, that was, yeah, that's a great way to put it. It does run. And that's, that's where my, for me is it, it, it's running on its own. Yes. There's effort for sure in that we plateaued a little bit with our, my income. His income's inconsistent. So yeah. we don't have the flow during certain times of the month that we will yeah. in the summer. So in, mm-hmm. in just this little, this, the, in the last three months, I mean, we made, I feel like we've made strides, but it's, it, we went. Slowing down a little. Yeah. 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 But we're excited to in the next month or so, it's going to ramp up, take again. off again. So. Yeah, you have a plan with that so that it can plateau and not sink you, right? Exactly, exactly. So, or go backwards or something. Yes, yeah. I love yeah. that. Is that why you call it the runway? Yes. Okay. Yes, good. That. You, yeah, yeah you. <laughs> so that kind of leads me to two questions. One, I want to make sure we talk about the numbers of where you were before and then now what goals you've been able to hit and those type of things. And then second was what is your favorite tool from the system? And maybe it's the red right, maybe something else, but maybe let's start with the numbers. So where were you? How much were you able to put aside in before you started this program versus now? What goals have you been able to hit in just three months? So before we were, we would have like a $2,000 savings account and then we would dig into it here and there. So when we very first started, we had $750 in savings Mm -hmm. and we didn't have what I would, what we call flow now, right? Extra money after expenses are, are accounted for. Um, We didn't have that. We did, but if we, if we did, we didn't account for it. Or we would just spend it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, let's it go went to- down. Yeah. yeah. It was something. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. planned. Yeah. Right. An inflated groceries uh, mm-hmm. expense or something like that, or a trip or something, yeah. dinner out. <clears throat> and then now we, right off the bat, we were very lucky. 
uh, Larry had his year end bonus. And so we were able to put aside a $2,500 emergency fund in a high interest savings account, which is super exciting. Yes. There, a little egg. And then we were able to build a $3,800 runway account. Wow. Which us, that was huge. That was yes. huge for both of us. And yeah, and, and huge in that we were expecting what we've, what's happening. We planned, we were with the runway account to set money aside for the slower months. What we accounted for or planned on happening happened, but we had the money to cover ourselves and not feel like we were really strapped. So that was huge. Yeah. And we haven't had to dip into it fully either, which has been amazing. Wow, that <laughs> is that is huge. So explain a little bit in your words what a runway is for those who don't know what that. I know I keep bringing it up because it's, no, it's do it. Yes. Own it. Do you want to? No, you're no. Better. You're better. <laughs> a runway is so for in Larry's instance, there's three months out of the year where his income dips due to the weather. They just can't take on jobs, and so we figured out what his lowest paycheck could average to be spread over the course of three months and then figured out what expenses we had coming out and the difference we put into the runway account. So you have three months of the difference between your lowest income and your expenses saved together in a nice little nest egg. And so you dip into it at the, in the months that you need it. And then that becomes your number one goal once you have flow again. Perfect. Well said. Yes. So it just helps you to keep those months the same. So you don't exactly. have feast and famine. You don't have these extreme months or you're going, you're like, we have so much money. And then all of a sudden you don't have enough to pay for groceries. Exactly. It helps you to create that consistency. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's your, yes. it's your, it's the, the rule of one as you guys. Yes. That's a good one. Yeah. It's, yes. I mean, it's that we, we don't want to have to replenish the runway we would prefer to everything go to flow, mm -hmm. but we have to. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, and again, I'm going back to this is why we, I don't have to think about money. We don't have to think about money. That it's there. We have that runway. Yep. It's not this stress of like, oh, geez. Yes. No. Totally. And it provides, a, it provides a consistency throughout the year. I know you guys talk about lifestyle creep as a component. Mm -hmm. you make more, you spend more. You earn less, you spend less, hopefully, depending on how that. But generally speaking, you get that raise at work and it's suddenly gone and you don't even know yeah, where it went. You have and the money for the new car. And exactly. Yeah. And so having the runway allows things to even out. And then the cap budget just keeps everything consistent. So you're making really intentional choices about where your money's going, whether you have less or whether you have more but you can still live your normal life during the times where you'll have less income. So yeah. it's a huge safety. It's a nice feeling of comfort and safety in times of less. Yes, absolutely. That's well said. Okay, so you were able to do the um, oh, running yeah. account and the emergency fund. Yes, and then in addition to that, we were able to pay off $3,800 in debt. So we paid off two credit cards and partial of another credit card. Holy cow, you guys. I know. Yeah. And then this was a big one. It's, I didn't even think it was that big of a deal, but it's starting to hit me in that I needed a laptop. I had a six-year-old laptop and it, it wasn't a want, it was a genuine need. It kept shutting down and I was, <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I need something that functions. And we in were, cash. we were able to buy it in cash. Woohoo! We yeah. changed our mindset around needing the newest, best laptop to what's going to last us for the next two years to get us out of debt. Yeah. And that felt really, really light and um, just freeing to be like, okay. Because prior we'd be like, okay. Let's put it on the credit Perfect. card. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a huge mindset shift of, yes, you're not going into more debt and you were able to analyze the need, not get emotional about like all the flashiness of getting yeah, the exactly. greatest. And yeah. yeah, that's huge. Yeah. It was, it was a really big moment for both, for me, I think it was for both mm -hmm. of us and just not. And the, one of the big debts paid down was, I mean, Dan was like, 
I remember one of our meetings, he was just, what are you doing? <laughs> was the, uh, he was kind about the, it. Yes. <laughs> He's seen so many, he was, he was kind of that. Yeah. Like, um, the installment loans. Yes. They're just these little niggling. All add up. Just yeah. Constantly. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing and about. They add up so quick. They do. It, mm -hmm. it, it, I mean, they do this for this reason. Yes. A whatever I mean we're, we're suckers for it for this reason mm -hmm. well the biggest thing is I mean if I can share and mm -hmm. I'll share I'm the installment loan um, or I was the installment loan person you um, changed yes and, and yes. not any not at all like not a single piece of, like we haven't used any credit cards no installment loans yeah. anything yeah. but the the if I look back the reason I was using installment loans is I had money in the account I just was fearful and I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So those two components, the fear and the didn't know led me to be like, oh, well, I'll just space this out over four payments. Cause that just mm -hmm. makes sense. Right. You know? Yeah. And then with, yeah, now we know. Right. Yeah. And yeah. if yeah. I can share, like yeah. Larry would have money in his checking account, but he was kind of fearing that there wouldn't be enough. So he would go put yeah. gas in a credit card, even yeah. though he didn't need to. Yeah. So yeah. now, now that we have a clear picture and now that we're checking in about it and we're actually ahead of our expenses and I'll share about the laptop in a second, but that fear and that uncertainty and that mm -hmm. not knowing that's what can lead to some of those behaviors. At least it could for us where mm -hmm. it makes you, it made me make decisions based on fear instead of logic. And wow. That was kind of a big epiphany. Yeah, that's like a quote you need to paste on your wall. Or something. <laughs> that is good. Yes. Yes. I love that. Basing yes. your decisions on logic versus fear and helping you, a term we sometimes use is data over drama, right? Yes, like, I love that. Pull yourself out of the weeds, not in your head about all the yes. drama, all the fear, all these emotions swaying you, right. acknowledging the emotions, knowing where they come from, not just shoving them down. Right. And looking at the data, what does this actually say? Oh, it says I have $120 left in my gas fund. I'm totally fine, you know? Right, right. right. Yeah, that, that's a huge, huge one. I love that. The structure is huge. And then emotion being the driver of behavior. Like if we all knew, we all know what to do to put more money in savings, right? You earn yeah. more, you spend less. But like most things, you know, just because we know the rules doesn't mean that we want to follow them. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's so true. So those emotions come into play and change the way that we behave around money or anything else. So it's 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 a big deal to kind of acknowledge that. I love that the I love that Sensei addresses that right from the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yes, the mindset thing is a huge component and. I'd say almost a bigger component besides all of the technical stuff. That part is like, I wouldn't say easy. It still, you know, takes some right. due diligence and stuff. But really what we're working on is the personal side of personal finance. So yeah. I totally, totally could not agree more. So with that said, maybe our final question can be, what has been your biggest emotional takeaway or maybe a few? I know you guys sent a huge long list. So <laughs> any that you want to share of these emotional takeaways from Sensei? <laughs> and when you say emotional takeaways, like how we feel now versus then. Yeah. I, there's a sense of peace between us that really has never been there in this way. And yeah. this deep, deep trust that's been built. Again, we were in, we are in an amazing relationship, but this part of our relationship was always that point of contention. So when you take that away, it allows for a greater closeness and it allows for us to share our goals more freely. And I, I think what you said is that it's possible to mm -hmm. acknowledge that, oh, this is- yeah before uh, we're just muddling through life i mean you guys put it well in your program where we 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 made our our uh, we we just keep you dig making pit. Our, our pit comfortable <laughs> yes yes we're just kind of just muddling nine to five day to day and this is just the way it is and it's easy to ignore as a couple 
where we're just, you know, um, and because we didn't have a structure, we didn't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Big thing. And because yeah. we talked about it, that some there could be some contention. There could there could be some. Yeah, I'm just going to avoid that. Mm -hmm. But because of the structure, because of sensei, we we can talk about it because we have a foundation. And it wasn't my spreadsheet. It was the spreadsheet we built together, mm -hmm. approaching this as a team and really allowing for where one of us is either in our understanding or our emotional capacity to have a conversation or how we might feel about a particular expense or income yeah, whatever I mean, it might it be a, it was a it's a it's a no he's fine no no, no? okay <laughs> it's ours yes it's and not now you have that lens that you're looking at it through yes. right you have yeah. that framework yeah. of like you're not just looking at the numbers and like, okay, now what? You yeah. know, you're looking at the same numbers. You're looking at the same expenses. Yeah. yeah. It's not me looking and be like, okay, yeah. this is what I think we should do. It's okay. This is what we're seeing. And yeah. it's, what do they say? You're 10 times more likely or you're 10 times more likely to be successful in this. If you approach it together, right. Mm -hmm. You're just, you have a teammate, yes. but there's something so powerful about showing up together in this way and really allowing yourselves to dream and to imagine that it could be different and really getting after it. I mean, it's been, yeah, it's good. Our life is better. I, it, we yeah. haven't, we haven't pinched pennies to the point where we feel squeezed. It doesn't feel like that at all. It feels, mm -hmm. our life feels more full and we're spending less. Amazing. It's so crazy how that happens, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You like, change what? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I love um I love this concept that you brought up of just this freeness throughout the whole thing of like whether that's in the day-to-day -day spending, in the idea of like this is actually possible. Yeah. Let's this happen. And I read the other day a list of things. It was like energy givers and they were things oh. like sunlight and exercise and whatever but one of them was future planning and I was like that is so true yeah. that, that just like gives you this energy especially when you feel like the future planning is actually possible, possible. and look yeah. we're doing it it's not even just possible you have evidence three months right. and you've already hit all these things you know yeah. so I think that that is such a huge thing I can like feel it talking to you of just like <laughs> <laughs> this excitement and energy about like let's go after it let's do our next thing it's not this like sludging through mud and like do whatever we have to do to pay off the not that next debt like you know what I mean so yeah I definitely can feel that emotional shift for sure that's really cool to see thank you and sludging through mud there's there's a little bit of that right now yes last month where I mean it's not it doesn't feel like that it just feels like we're just kind of, we we're like, eh, we're climbing a mountain and I'm crossing <laughs> over to do this again. Yes, totally. I mean, but that's life. Yeah. So we're not going down and it's not. We're not going to continue to just go skyrocket the whole time. Right. right. Yeah. But, that is so true. And like you said, the emotional part is still caring, even when it may be a, a um, yeah. financial yeah. plateau, it's still yeah. not like you're stressed about this and you're feeling all these things right. like, okay, the numbers may not be going as fast right now, right. even though I know they will be, and they have in the past right now, it's may not be actually moving the needle, but it's still worth continually trusting the system, continually yes. doing this because yes. I'm seeing this emotional change constantly. And, yeah. and sorry to keep ranting here. The, <laughs> the, the, the She's excited. The weekly check -in. Yes. And it keeps like a week in plateau. But I mean, what was it? We went a week and a half, almost two weeks. We had where yeah. we, we started plateauing and we're like, yeah, you know, we have. Well, what do you mean? But you mean like we missed our check in one week? Yeah, yes. because it, it's yeah. easy to be like, yeah. oh, okay, we're just kind of, 
it's exciting to do the weekly check-in when you're like, putting money actively toward your goal. Yes, yes. Doing that, like, eh, we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk tomorrow. We'll talk tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. We we were like, we have to we have to sit down. Yeah. It's been a week and a half, almost two weeks. We get we have we did we missed a week, but um and okay we're checked in. It's inspiring. It's yeah. just yeah. It takes three minutes. It's prioritizing in, us. Man. Yeah. Yeah. It's huge. huge. Yeah. It takes all the fear. And, and the biggest thing, not the biggest thing, but the biggest thing I've loved about the program in terms of the financial planning is the planning. You're, you're talking mm-hmm. about things every time you come to the table that are the things that are coming up in the future. You're thinking yeah. ahead. So you're less likely to be caught by yeah. something unawares so, yeah, and if yeah. you are you have the emergency fund so all of that fear that comes around unexpected expenses annual expenses you need to fix the car get the spark plugs done you need to travel to hawaii to see your long lost cousin i don't know whatever it might be yes. you're yes. you're yes. relatively yes. prepared and much more so and you're talking about it every week yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. so I don't have a long lost cousin in Hawaii, but that would be yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, be great. yeah <laughs> be a great excuse. Yes. Great excuse. Well, great. Well, thank you again for coming on. Is there any last minute things that you would like like to share, or you want someone to know who might be considering joining Sensei? Any other things you'd like to share? If you're considering, do it for sure. <laughs> Give it a try. It's um, I just keep going back to structure. Mm-hmm. We we try to build these things on our own, and to have you and Dan, what you've created is it's amazing. It's amazing. Thank you thank you. I'm so glad. Yeah, it's just, yeah. I'd like to say that I am inspired by you and Dan and your true, genuine mission to do good in the world by teaching people how to manage their money and to have less stress and more dreams and goals achieved. And I think that you guys have made this program the way it is. There's literally no risk. If you sign up, you guys, you are so committed to helping people reach their goals that if they don't reach them, there's no, you're, you're covered. I mean, you, and I think that's such an amazing guarantee that you guys offer. And it's, it's not a no brainer. It's a, it's a, it's a big leap for people. And I get that it was a big leap for us, but it's been worth every single minute we've spent on it. And it's given us so much more than what we've given it. I'm excited to see where it takes us next. Yeah. 